Hi guys, I am Sai Deodhar and today we are going to discuss how to make a short film. The first thing that is very important about filmmaking or making a short film is the story. Now how do you write a story? The easiest way to write a story is from what you have seen around, you know, uh, your friends, your family, uh, and incidents that's probably happened in your family, or you've heard of, or it's happened to you, uh, something to do with that. So taking that concept or taking that uh, idea, and then maybe constructing a story around it. So that's how I guess that's the easiest way to write a story. So you have to keep in mind that uh, wherever you're going to be placing the story, it's going to be very accessible. It's not a difficult location. It's not somewhere uh, which is very expensive. You will have to get too many permissions. So keep that in mind when you write a story only. So once you write your story, once you know what's happening in your story, you write a screenplay. Now what is a screenplay? Screenplay is basically dividing your story into different scenes. So for example, my first scene happened in the living room. My second scene happened in the bedroom. My third scene was in the garden. Fourth scene was in the kitchen. So basically dividing the whole story into short, short scenes. Okay, uh, that's a screenplay. Once your screenplay is written, then you write the dialogue. Now there are a few things you have to, which are very important when you write a script. Uh, you have to do research, you know, when you're writing about something, uh, you should have your facts right, you know, whatever you're discussing, the world that you're creating, the, uh, the universe that you're showing, you should research about it. So once you have screenplay uh, and your dialogues and everything ready, try and make a storyboard. Now what is a storyboard is visually seeing how your story looks like. So just basically how you see it. So once that is done, once you have your story uh, board and your story in hand, we come to the second stage of filmmaking. Now the second stage of filmmaking is pre-production, which is as important as writing the script. So the first thing when you start your pre-production is scouting for locations, finding out where you're going to be shooting the film. Uh, recce means going and actually going, seeing uh, the location and once you go to the location, figuring out whether is, it is possible to shoot there or no. There are a couple of things which need to be uh, kept in mind when you see a location and when you decide the location. The first thing is the light. Ideally, uh, because if you're a new filmmaker, uh, getting equipment is costly, getting lights is costly, placing lights, putting too many equipments uh, becomes very difficult. You have to see to it that at least the sound quality is so much that when you're recording the sound, uh, at least you get to hear a pilot track. Pilot track is what is being spoken at that point in time. You at least get to hear that later when your uh, once your film is made you know so you can hear that what the actors are talking so it's very important that the place that you're shooting is not very noisy is not overtly uh, there's too much noise there again unless and until your script requires a place which is very crowded and which has a lot of noise in it i would like to talk about this a process called dubbing which i'm sure you all have heard about so dubbing is basically once you've shot something the dialogues are recreated in the studio you say the dialogues again and they are synced as to what you you what the actors have said. Now that is a very very uh, very helpful because then what happens is if you're shooting there's generally a noise. Uh, you know you can't shoot in the surrounding when there is um, you you can curtail the sound. You know the sound is a huge problem always. So uh, it's always better to dub your film later. It's uh, easier rather than doing retakes and you know trying to get a right shot because of the sound. Then in pre-production is sitting and making a schedule you know as to how many days will be required to shoot the scenes where all which all days uh, you will be shooting it what scenes will you be shooting when so when you decide that this day i'm going to be shooting here uh, from your screenplay you you find out all the number of scenes which you're going to be shooting in a particular location and make a schedule accordingly it's very important to have the costumes and everything ready before the shoot Okay, before the shoot, ideally you should have a look test with your actors, uh, get them into the costumes and uh, click pictures and you know see that this is the visual that you had, this is how uh, 
this is exactly how they look like and this is how they should be when you should be shooting so in your pre prod uh, you should know that if i have to spend 5 hours in a particular location i have to finish these many scenes in those 5 hours because if you spend a lot of time uh, and suddenly your schedule is suddenly go haywire uh, instead of shooting 5 scenes in a day you'll end up shooting just half a scene and it has happened to a lot of filmmakers so be very very vigilant about the time that you are uh, spending while shooting uh, your film after that uh, you should rehearse with your actors it's very 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 important to have workshops with your actors and the actors know exactly what they're supposed to do when you're shooting it's always better if you go on the location with your dop Uh, with your cameraman and decide how you're going to put your shots you know with a shot division what is a shot division is when you uh, when you have your scene is you divide this would be a close up this would be a two shot uh, this would be um, a long shot um, you know my actor would be standing in os shot or a over the shoulder shot so when you do a shot division as you these are going to be the seven shots i need for example for this for this scene so go and do the blocking beforehand so that when you go on the day of the shoot you are not clueless as to where do you want to place the camera how do you want the actors to come how you going to be taking a shot you already know how your shots are going to be where you going to camera where your camera is going to be placed what your actors are going to do so that's very very important okay so now we have finished talking about the pre production now we'll talk about actually going on the set and shooting so now when you go on the set start early okay unless and until as i said your shoot is only about uh, Uh, it's a night sequence or you know even then if it's a night sequence start early as in go on the set early in the evening be prepared be sure about you know be everybody be ready so when you roll your camera uh, you don't delay in uh, shooting you know you've already prepared you're on the set you've reached before it's always better to take extra shots and take shots from different angles because uh, what happens is with new filmmakers uh, even though you've done a short division there are chances that you might jump the axis there are chances that you might not be grammatically right there might be uh, technical uh, mistakes that you might do so it's always better to take different shots from different angles so that when you're editing uh, it becomes easier for you you know even if you've made a mistake you have another shot from another angle which uh, can be used in your in your film uh, if the scenes are like the first scene is as i said is a, a scene in the living room the second scene is in the bedroom the third scene is in the garden and the fourth scene is again in the living room you do not have to shoot it chronologically you have to shoot it location wise like for example if i have in the whole film i have three scenes which are in the living room i should finish those three scenes first then move to another location then to another location that definitely saves a lot of time another very very important thing is after you finish your shoot after you have felt that you know you've done whatever it is that you have to shoot you finish shooting it it's very important to cross check that you've taken all the shots after you finish shooting your film now comes the post production so pre production production and post production i mean the first step of uh, your post production is taking all the raw material whatever you have shot all of that and putting it onto your computer or putting it onto a, an editing machine or uh, you know saving it somewhere uh now your editing is what comes into picture this is one of the most crucial parts of filmmaking because a lot of films uh were actually not even shot well but if edited properly can uh create wonders and a lot of films even if though they are shot well they have a good great story but if are not edited in the right way can absolutely kill the film so editing is again extremely crucial after editing comes uh, the sound so once you shot if if you feel that you're okay with the sound the noise is uh, not too much the ambient sound is not jarring 
uh, and is not uh, superseding the, the the dialogues. Dialogues are very very important. Even if the visuals sometimes are a little hazy, uh, the audience is forgiving. But the audience does not forgive if the sound quality is bad. Always remember that. So uh, if you feel the sound is not good enough. Uh, Again, as I said, you can hire a dubbing studio, which is not very expensive, and dub your film. Or you can also do it on your laptop, which is also, I think, the software is available and it's possible. So once your dubbing is done, then comes your BG. BG is your background music, which is again very important. Uh, background plays a key role in uh, storytelling, in taking the story forward, uh, kind of underlining the emotions, you know nudging the audience to start feeling a certain way uh, and looking at your film in a certain way. So background is very very important. Try and see to it that the, backgr uh, the background music um, doesn't uh, overshadow the visuals, you know. It has to be in sync. Uh, when, you, when you make a film, uh, the visuals should not dominate or the music shouldn't dominate what you're seeing, the storytelling. That's very very important. So once your background music is done, then comes folly. Folly is creating um, sound effects say for example if you open the door creating the sound of the door if you're walking the sound of footsteps if because that's again uh, sometimes if you're doing a thriller you're doing a suspense film these uh, things are very very important so folly comes majorly into play when you're doing uh, a suspense thriller um, or otherwise also if you want to have an ambient sound you know birds chirping or show early morning so there's a certain sounds which you have to put so that comes under folly so once that is done then comes the mixing. Mixing is uh, the sound levels, the, the background and the folly, um, you know, balancing it right and putting it onto your film. So, uh, after your mixing is done, your sound is ready. Uh, there is another step that happens, is the call, it's called color correction or DI. Uh, that uh, again, um, is completely if you're doing a short film a lot of new filmmakers don't opt for that because it's slightly an expensive process so what happens is when you color correcting your film uh, you can enhance the colors uh, the, the visual can be enhanced and uh, or uh, you can put uh, the visuals uh, say if you want to want to have a certain texture to your film that can be created uh, when you're doing your di and uh, your color correction so that can obviously simultaneously happen when you're doing your sound as well. And uh, I guess that's how you make a film and this is just the beginning. So once you've made your first film, you embark on this beautiful journey of filmmaking and uh, I guess it never ends after that. So I really hope that whatever I spoke uh, I hope I didn't miss out on anything. I feel there's a filmmaker in all of us, you know, and if you really feel that, you know, you you have it in you that you want to you want to take, tell a story to the world, don't get scared, don't get overwhelmed, it's not that difficult. Just take a camera, write a script and make a film. All the best.